Cambridge corner three is good. Some teams that average like nine a game. This is not one of his best. Baker and Foster goes up high for the rebound. Here's Washington. They're actually crediting that last tip to Himes. And they are the five spot. So the one, the two, and the five were the only spots that scored. The three and the four got to get something done in the second half here. What? Went out and he said, we competed our tail off and almost beat the Rams on their senior night. You know, you don't have this kind of year without be having very good way. Tough shot. Halfway down. Good ball move to base. Had a good look. Lobos, two of their last ten. Sherfield sure session out of the timeout for Coach Patino in New Mexico. Cut it back to a four-point game. Twelve and a half to go. Sherfield sure across court. That's a tough call. But Sherfield sure draws the charge. Arroyo knocked it away. Went. 200 points off the bench this year. Excellent sixth man. Sherfield might have There's definitely going to be some good hoops out there in Las Vegas. Yeah, there's four teams right now. Jerry Palm has in the NCAA tournament. Baker can shoot the three, and even Steve Alford talked about today with five, six minutes where things don't go right for Nevada and they stop scoring. This should be two. And it is cold. And in college and suddenly he can shoot the three over the last <laughs> few games. I don't know where that came from Washington Runs into Mensa three minutes to go up by nine if it's not a for sure layup Do not turn the ball over uh, Baker yeah. trying to get a three here for Sherfield around the screen double Baker's got the three Baker hits for the ball See what kind of shot they get here. Cambridge falling up. He jab at 23 the other night on 8 of 12 from the field against UNLV. Baker trying to get things close and he did. What, since 1987-88 since they've won an outright conference title. They've won a lot of shares, but an outright conference title. First time since the late 80s. Sweet pass underneath. On FS1, on FS2, digitally on the Fox Sports app, other applications. How important is that for you as a commissioner to get that brand out? Short on it, here's Sherfield. Grant Sherfield's been a little quiet here tonight. He's only got a couple points so far. Back into the corner, that one a pop over for Nevada. They're bleeding. Foster gets it back to him. They got numbers, four on two. Blackshear dumped down to Washington. Firepower just isn't there on a regular basis for Steve Alford this season, yet. Yeah, I think they, they're they gonna look at bringing in some elite possession for Nevada. They need a stop here. There you go, that was good defense getting into the passing lane. Surefield pushing Black, uh, Cambridge today against San Diego State. That game's on CBS Sports. If you got three quad one wins, you're in the top four of the net. You're in pretty good shape, Rich. Washington with a sword that keeps doubling from the passer. Wyoming can carve them up by open threes by sliding to the open spot. Offensive teams in the country, Colorado State, Wyoming, two of the top offensive teams in the country. But when you think about like Utah State potentially being, that's a great lob. By Focal point and shoot around for Wyoming. This guy as well, Cambridge, Sherfield, kicks open. Black. High IQ play for the dunk. And this is a Waku sending it home. Working inside, it's dumb shots. Do not make the analytics gurus happy, Alex. Surefield. Nice pass on the backdoor play. Hamilton already with eight in the game. There's a takeaway and a retakeaway. Now Coleman, he thought about it, now decides. Surefield with the basketball's got eight. Baker on the take. Throws it up. Nice. Turnover goes against Ham for the loose ball foul there. Just underway with the second half here. Storm, after he fell down on that loose ball, you wonder if it just didn't feel right on that jump. Oh, it's Nigeria. Now 
Now on the other end, it's Coleman trying for the three again, misses that time. Rebound to KJ Himes, and I said it to you earlier today. You get an alley oop on the other. All right, underway here in San Jose. Grant Sherfield averages 18 points per game. Inside though to Will. He just took his time, got to that left shoulder jump hook. Nothing Cambridge could do about it. His potential is huge. There's Cambridge wide open for three. He had a lot he could do. Sherfield off the pick and roll. Looking for the roller. He finds him. Rise and rock. KJ Himes. Timeout. Tim Miles. Three point shooting is their bread and butter, and they're one of eight. Nevada's hit all their threes. Hey, you got to make those ones. It, it, all the other shots have been tough. Even the ones Gordon have been making, he's had hands in his face. You get a wide open one, you got to knock it down. Sherfield off the. Draws it back to a 21 point game. Did you take anything off Beaton College? Yeah, I did. I took. Uh, I Every school has it. We were looking at this during shoot around. They have tracking devices that all the players are wearing, and there's a tracking device in the ball, as a matter of fact. Throw it up to Baker. Be one thing. They're sharing the basketball, the ball is hopping around, and they're making the right reads. Inside, that is one when he played. Did you see he was trending on Twitter today? His jersey is the highest selling jersey in the state of Alabama. Is that right? To this day. How about that? Amy couldn't get the bank twice in a row. So here's the game within the game for the stat heads out there. Ken Sherfield pick up an assist. Well, there it is. Two. Got the switch that they want. This is Cardenas, the point guard guarding Will Bitt this season. But nobody's really expected anything from the San Jose State Spartans in his first year. They're still looking for their first conference win. To go in the first half. And we've seen this before. The Spartans have not won a Mountain West game yet, but they've been excellent in the first half the past three weeks. They trailed wide. A little floater, just a bit too strong. Bounces over the rim. Back inside of Baker, and that's just does a little bit of everything. Spartans down by two. Great pass. Shirt sure. burning the whip all the way to the end of the shot clock. No double team. Up and over. Big time shot from the freshman Cardenas. No room in there on the road. Ooh. And the answer. Have to score immediately or they're going to have to start fouling. Sherfield. Zoller to Baker and he flushes. Got confidence in your bench, your assistant coaches to lead the way and also your players. Be able to step up and get it done. Look out, Cambridge again. His ability to pass the ball and get. The Aggies into their offensive sets to create off the bounce has been a big difference. Cambridge, Baker got his defender up in the air. Sherfield locates Foster at the low block. Count it! 25. He had 36 Tuesday, 26 tonight. Bounce pass and the finish for Black. the back pass to locate Baker and he knocks down so he's used to pressure outstanding player got the ball working on Trey Coleman already with a bucket here in the early going unbelievable but every day is a challenge yeah. Wyoming won tonight in overtime against Utah State so now tied with the Broncos atop the stand Sherfield, great crossover. Got it into the paint. Found Foster cutting to the hoop. You see how quickly the ball moves. It doesn't stick for Colorado State. The ball goes side to side. Cambridge Jr. out. Off the glass. Now that didn't go when he had a turnover on the last possession, yeah. but his first half is going to be a good development for Nico. Moore has found his way to the basket. Great execution by the Rams. Sherfield, nice foul. The senior around the block. Playing for four years for the Rams. Baker. Good close out by Horvath. Sherfield. Cambridge. That's sweet. Attention from the trainer on that right hip. 
Sure field lobs. Another catch. How about KJ? Jason in the Mountain West. E.K. Maldonado. Key jab with Boise State. Inside and Baker. Sherfield has nowhere to go right now. Baker muscles it up. Four of five from the field, and he's two of two from distance. He missed the first part of the year with an injury, and sometimes it takes you a little bit of time to get comfortable. You talked about the importance of Grant Sherfield when this team wins as Baker. <laughs> With Grant Sherfield and Isaiah Stevens going mano a mano. I love this. Stevens, after a quiet first half, now in double figures with 10 points. And how about the answer against Nevada for Stephen Bardo and our entire FS1 crew? I'm Kevin Kugler. Thanks for watching and good night from Madison. And try and see if they can get you into a turnover and kind of change up the tempo here. From the corner, there is Keenan Black. Willing passer. In fact, I would say he's one of the best passing centers in all of college hoops. There's from the block. Sherfield to Washington double. But he also had a season high six assists in that game. So when the shot's not falling, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but there's so many things he can do. Baker had a little bit of a taste of Campbell's bounciness, if that's a word. This dude can get up in a hurry. Pat, you're like, he should shoot every <laughs> time he touches the ball, honestly. His first college start tonight. Because the Cowboys playing without one of their best players, Xavier Ducell. He was hurt at the end of that Utah State game. The early show. You see that pick and roll defensive coverage from EK. Eight game, as I mentioned, their first game in three weeks. And now they have four games in seven days. Yeah, they're in for it, right? It's the starting tonight. Thomas Baker coming over to help. Still a five-point game. 8-16 to go here in the second half. And at 12 points, this is the largest lead of the game for the Cowboys. Interesting. So Hunter Maldonado has not shot the ball well at all. He misses two free throws. He's two for 13 from the field, folks. But he's got nine points, eight rebounds, and ten assists. So he's very close to a player. He's going to draw the assignment. Lucas Mormon gets that first foul and the first team foul. And Blacks, they are not shy from three. There's no doubt about that. Left side, two to go. Sherfield on Jackson, pulls up. Washington underneath. And take down St. John's. The Johnnies on a nine and five. Donnie Marshall and our entire FS1 crew. So glad you can be part of our Big East doubleheader. UConn. As far as the resume is concerned, they're 0 and 4 against teams that are ranked in the top 100 of Kenpom, according to Kenpom.com. You don't have any big wins. Whoa! It's, it's a big difference. Like, I know it might sound silly, but 16 versus 13 with, with 250 to go, it's a, it's a big difference there. Straight up there. How about Sherfield here? Only one shot. Is that a matter of the defense from New Mexico so far, or is he trying to facilitate the early go? I think he is, is really shoulder to shoulder. You allow him to squeeze through that space, he's going to take advantage of it. Hey. Now, Look at Oh, Cambridge, normally a three point shoot. Sherfield with the dribble handoff from Baker. Gives it back. Baker comes down. Wants to use to spell Jalen House a little bit. Make sure that his minutes don't get out of control. Great cut off the baseline. Washington gobbling up that defensive rebound. Now on a rim run. He drew the defender. Cold field. 
his freshman year at Wichita State. He's been much better, a much smarter player under Steve Alford's tutelage. Got a clean look there. Couldn't hit it for three. Now House. Oh, Watch your recover. Up top, Baker from Sheffield. Score, one shot goes in. He's got a little more bounce in the step. He really likes the mid-range. Trey Coleman to the baseline, to the rim. That's the length of Desmond Cambridge. When you look at Nevada's five-game winning streak, is Cambridge. This is one of his deeper groups. Plus 16 in the basketball. Sherfield. Blackshear. 26 and a half in the last four games. He makes this team go technically. In the last two games, he's almost average. And off to Velazze. Man at the rim. Nevada pulls in the board. That's what goes. You're going to go up. You got to go tough that one. Nevada. To increase their six point lead, it'll be the big Will Baker. Into the ground. No call. Sherfield has a great pull-up game. Throws it up top, Washington there. Middleton will take it down the floor. The junior has that one nearly stolen away. It is stolen away. Sherfield to Baker. Baker, the two-handed flush. Get forward Duluth. They go back in front, eight to seven. Charlie Katona is with three baskets. He's got six points. Being shorthanded, he can get some good minutes, get himself maybe some playing time later on in the season. How about a three from Daniel Foss? From campus. I love here. those old school spots like Brickies near there. Yep. Lots of old school spots down there. 36 30, Wolfpack leading with under four to go. You score. They can't convert on the offensive end, and here comes Grant Sherfield. Sherfield, a team leading 15 for the front to get offensive confidence for Will Baker. Absolutely. They want to get him going. He's He started the season off slow, then had a couple big games, but he's going to be key. Cambridge with the rejection. His second block of the night. Now Cambridge for three. Distance. Sherfield looking to facilitate. Finds Baker and Baker. Rebounded that time by Blackshear. Sherfield, bounce pass inside. Baker with the finish. Uh, talking to Dwayne, he said he really feels like he has taken that step as a leader. He, he has, you know, and credit Coach Offer and Coach Neal really developing this kid. As you see Washington go inside, protecting that goal and uh, a nice swat early from Washington. Here's Cambridge, got it. And one and done for Pepperdine right now. Not a lot of ball moving, huh? No, not a lot of ball moving. And Good recovery there. Just kind of a gritty player, isn't he? Yes, he is. I mean, I tell you, he plays hard, unselfish. Yeah, Look at Warren Watt. It's the reason why they're tying themselves down two points. Right, Wolfpack have turned the ball over five times here in this first half. Here's Coleman on the baseline. Drive, good finish there. That will get the crowd going here at Lawler Event Center. Nevada leads 35 to 30. The ball. Free throw from Lewis is good. 53 to 40. Here's Foster off. Foster now two of two from beyond the arc this season. Cambridge. To stop this run that Nevada has going right now. They're clicking on all cylinders. Wow. How about Cambridge again? I'm yes, sir. For hanging in this game. Well, you, you knew they were going to play hard. They, they wasn't going to give up. Familiar with this setting this time of year and looks awful comfortable out there. He definitely does. He's playing great basketball right now. Seven points and a rebound, but he's playing. Get any easier for Nevada. They've got Pepperdine, North Texas, Texas Arlington coming up. Bunch of teams on their schedule, including Minnesota. As Brown take the wheel and drive. His shot blocked, though, this time by Blackshear. Now Sherfield cutting his way in, kicks it back out. Foster. Foster and Coleman are the five in blue. Brown, Fuller, Bay, Bajima, and Matt. A little bit of a frustrating stat line, I'm sure, for them as they try to get their third straight win here in Sioux Falls. Cambridge. Fill, their, fill the, that role, and uh, they're going to come out. They're going to play. They're going to compete. That's what they do. 
Nevada running strong here so far today. Two of three for Cooper picking up his second rebound of the day, but a quick turnover on the other end in Nevada. We'll try to respond as Sherfield gets it into the right wing. Three on. You know, one of eight, and you continue to keep shooting threes, right? Start working yourself inside, and then start working yourself out. Sherfield flying around, finds Cambridge. That one. Screen and using it. Well, talk about Baker and his ability to be able to stretch the three. There he's got a wide open shot there. He takes it, and boom. Yeah. Uh, they've done a great job so far in this classic. 7.45 left to go. Nevada, now their largest lead of the day, 69-54. Good look that time from Mike Gray, just couldn't get it to drop. He put in a career high nine points yesterday against Washington. And there, Mr. Cambridge. When he's taking their first look, they're going to get a quality shot. But that's a staple of their program, is getting quality shots and shots that they recognize every single day that they practice. Sharefield with the lob. Go, but you know, the coaching staff will pull him aside and probably talk about some of those turnovers. And if he can kind of shore those up, he's going to be a tough player in the Summit League for years. Sherfield with the pass into the corner. That shot misses off the front side of the iron. South Dakota State now under 75% shooting on the day at 15 of 21. That one points early in the game. Hasn't scored much in the last 15 minutes or so, but now with 12 points on the night on four of eight shooting. There's a nice answer on the too long for Friedel. Bounced it off the front side of the iron. He and Shireman before that shot had identical stat lines. Six of 12 for each individual from the field. A little dry spell here. Shurfield again, give it up in the corner this time. Cambridge. <clears throat> Perfect screen. So you end up getting a double pick into a handoff. Shurfield with the lead, Becker with the finish and one. And again, he's feeling it. Not that time, though. Here comes Shurfield. Ahead to Becker for wow. the finish. Baker again, they leave him, he takes it, he makes it. Well, Baker says, why not? Bang! Bang! Indeed, why not? Here's Sherfield. Bouye doing a pretty good job on Sherfield. Nice lead that time for Washington for the finishing rebound. Sherfield, a lot of Baker the finish. Warren Washington had it briefly. Cross court to Baker. He'll try another three. This is a lefty three, and that one is good. It's our first two baskets, I should say. Parker Brown has a bounce pass from Jalen Williams, intercepted. Sherfield front court. Left side, pull up three is in the air. As Santa Clara once trailed 11 to 10. Into the corner, open look from three. That one is good. Missed off the front iron, but tipped by Bediaco into the hands of Cambridge. Throws behind, this is Blackshear open for three. That one is rattled rebound. He said, and I'm talking about Jalen Williams, I'm talking about Jordan Williams. Jalen has a couple of rebounds, Jordan a few rebounds, and it's Keyshawn Justice. That three ball is no good. Rebounded by, oh, there's a three-pointer for Nevada, back the other way.